Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about addition of decimals. Example, Yul weighs 53 and 75 hundreds kilograms. His classmate, Lovely, weighs 48 and 90 hundreds kilograms. What is their total weight? Are we given this problem or the following? 53 and 75 hundreds kilograms and 48 and 90 hundreds kilograms. So this problem calls us to add the total weight of Yule and Lovely. So let's solve. We will add 53 and 75 hundreds and 48 and 90 hundreds. In adding decimals, it is important that we align our decimal point here. So that will arrive at the correct answer. So let's add now. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. Write 6 here. Carry 1 at the top of 3. Then copy our decimal point. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Write 2 here. Carry 1 at the top of 5. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Then we can write the 10 here. Then we will copy our label, which is kilograms. And that will give us a total of 102 and 6500 kilograms. This is the total weight of Yule and Lovely. Example. Aunt May sent two Balikbayan boxes for my mom's birthday. Box A is 60 and 5 10 centimeters tall, while box B is 32 and 7500 centimeters. If I want to put box B on top of box A to save some space inside my mom's room, how tall are the two boxes? What are the given in this problem? We have box A, which is 60 and 5 tenths centimeters tall. We also have 32 and 75 hundred centimeters tall for the box B. For this problem, we will just add the height of the two boxes. So let's start off with a box A is 60 and 5 10 centimeters and box B 32 and 75 hundredths. So in adding decimals, it is important that we align our decimal points so that we will arrive at the correct answer. And for the empty space here, we can fill it out with zero so that it's easier for us to add the numbers now we are ready to add these two decimals zero plus five is equal to five five plus seven is equal to twelve we can write two here and carry one at the top of the zero then of course copy the decimal point next one plus zero is one plus two is three then, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. There you go. We have 93 and 25 hundredths centimeters. That is the height of both boxes A and B. Example, Mom Annie, Mom La Arnie, and Mom Nets spearheaded the charity program in their respective schools. They were able to gather donations for the project. Mam Ani has collected 1,250 pesos and 75 centavos, while Mam Laarni was able to raise 300 pesos and 50 centavos more than what Mam Ani's collection. Mam Nets collected 70 pesos and 95 centavos more than Mam Laarni's. What is the total amount they all collected? It is easy for us to solve this if you can draw a diagram of the problem 
so that the students can visualize. So the given for this problem, we have Mam Ani. Mam Ani, or we'll just put Ani. Um, she was able to collect 1,250 pesos and 75 centavos. We can put this one inside a box so that we have a reference later. Next, we have Mom Laarni, or we'll just put Laarni. She has collected 300 and 50 centavos more than what mom Annie's collection so it means we have to put a box which has 1250 and 75 in it plus the 300 pesos and 50 centavos because it says there that she collected 300 pesos and 50 centavos more than mom Annie's collection so we can put here 350 centavos so we can put a little box here because it's smaller in value next we have mom nets it says there that she collected 70 pesos and 90 centavos more than what mom la arnie's collection so it means we have to copy the two boxes of mom la arnie and then we have to write 70 pesos and 90 centavos after the two boxes. Okay, we'll do that. We'll copy the 1,250 pesos and 75 centavos. Then we'll put a box. And then of course the 350 centavos. Because so all we need to do is to copy this. And then we'll put the extra, which is the 70 pesos and 95 centavos so that it's easier to understand if we have this box so it's now clear that mom nets has the highest amount of money collected compared to the other two teachers now the question is what is the total amount they all collected so we have to get the total amount mom already collected and of course mom nets and we will add it to the money collected by mom ani now let's find out first how much money did mom already collect so let's do it here so that we have space 1250 pesos and 75 centavos plus 300 pesos and 50 centavos it is we have to make sure that we align our decimal point here okay now we can add next 5 plus 0 is 5 7 plus 5 is 12 write 2 here carry 1 at the top of the 0 1 plus 0 is 1 a uh, 1 plus 0 is 1 here so 5 plus 0 is 5 and then 2 plus 3 is 5 and bring down 1. So it means the total amount that Mom La Arnie collected is 1,551 pesos and 25 centavos. Let's put our money here. 1,551 pesos and 25 centavos. Also, we'll put Mom and his money here 1250 pesos and 75 centavos to get the total money collected by mom nets we need to add these three boxes so to check we will just add the 70 pesos and 95 centavos in here because anyway we can see the 1250 pesos and 75 centavos and 300 pesos and 50 centavos so all we need to do is to add the remaining box which is the 70 pesos and 95 centavos that will save us our time make sure that we align the decimal points of our items okay let's go now we're ready to add 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 carry 1 at the top of 2 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 9 is 12 
right two, carry one at the top of one. Then copy the decimal point. Next, one plus one is equal to two. Five plus seven is equal to 12, right two here and carry one at the top of five. Five plus one is equal to six and bring down one. Now we can write 1,000. 622 pesos and 20 centavos in here so that we can add the money collected so we'll make sure that all our decimal points are aligned so let's start off with 5 plus 5 plus 0 that's 10 write 0 then carry 1 at the top of 7 next 1 plus 7 that's 8 plus 2 that's 10 and plus 2 that's 12 write 2 here and then carry 1 at the top of 0 we have to copy our decimal point make sure that you will never forget that 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 write 4 here 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 write 2 and then carry 1 at the top of 2 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 6 is 14. Write 4 and carry 1 at the top of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So that is our final answer. 4,424 pesos and 20 centavos. This is the total amount these three teachers were able to collect for the charity program. Let us have some exercises. We have here 3 and 134 ten thousands and 28 hundredths. We have to make sure that, that the decimal points are aligned. So we can write 3 and 134 ten thousands and 28 hundredths. We may also write zeros in the empty spaces for easy adding of the numbers. We can now add 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 0 is 3, 1 plus 8 is 9, 0 plus 2 is 2. Then we have to copy the decimal points and then 3 plus 0 is 3. So our answer for this problem is... 3 and 2,934 ten thousands. We have another one. Okay, let's have this example. 4 and 81 hundredths. We will just write these decimals vertically with their decimal points aligned. So, 3 and 593 thousandths. So we'll start off with making sure that our decimal points are aligned and the empty spaces we may have an option to put zero in it or not. So for me, I wanted to put zero so that's easier for us to solve or add these decimals. Let us now add 0 plus 3 is 3, 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, write 0 here, carry 1 at the top of 8, 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. Write 4 here, carry 1 at the top of 4. And make sure that you have to write your decimal point. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So our answer for this question is 8 and 403 thousandths. Another example. We have 16 and 794 thousandths added to 393 and 2 tenths. So we'll copy, write them vertically, 794 thousandths and 393 and 2 tenths. So make sure that we align their decimal point. We can put 393 here and then the 2 tenths here. We can also make sure filling this empty space with zeros so that it's easier for us to solve. We are now ready to add these numbers. 4 plus 0 is 4, 9 plus 0 is 9, 7 plus 2 is 9, then copy our decimal point. 6 plus 3 is 9, 1 plus 9 is 10, 
write 0, carry 1 at the top of 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So our final answer for this question is 409 and 994 thousandths. We have another one. We are going to add the following decimals and numbers. 8 and 94 hundredths, 9 thousandths. We also have 1 and 122 thousandths and whole number 8. In solving this problem, we have to align their decimal points by writing them vertically. So let's start off with 8 and 94 hundredths. Then we'll make sure that we align also this 9,000. So that will become 9 thousandths. Then we also have 1 and 122 thousandths and the whole number 8. Then we're good to go. We can also put zeros in the empty spaces. So that's easier for us to solve like that. And make sure that we have the decimal points aligned. All decimal points aligned. Okay, let's now add. 0 plus 9 is equal to 9. 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. Plus 0 is still 11. Write 1 here and then carry 1 at the top of 4. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Plus 2 is equal to 7. Next, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Write 0 here then carry 1 at the top of 8. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. And 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. Then, of course, copy the decimal point. Our final answer for this question is 18 and 71 thousandths. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!